all right guys welcome back so now in this lecture we will be creating a cart app so that we will uh, we can handle all the cart functionality okay so so first of all let's go to the uh, git bash here and let's uh, create a new app okay so this is how we create python manage.py start app and let's say the app name will be carts all right so now our app is created here it is so this is the carts app so uh, as i said before as soon as we create a app we should we first need to go to the settings.py and mention it here uh, carts so that's 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 all and so we just created a carts app we don't have a urls.py file right so we will create one urls.py and here uh, let's say from django dot urls import path and url pattern equal to so the first uh, okay so first of all the request comes to here right uh, this project level directory okay so here let's go to the urls.py file and the cart path will be like this path uh, cart slash and from here we are including the carts dot cars dot url all right so now the once uh, we hit this uh, path then uh, we will be sent to this uh, this url dot py uh, you know py file let's get into this and from here path and uh, it will be blank and comma views dot cart and the name will be cart okay so let's just make a, a cart function just a simple function to return the template okay so let's say def um, cart pass the request oh sorry this is not return this is a request and return a render a request comma um, store slash cart dot html all right so uh, uh, we need to import views here okay from dot import views all right so now we don't have the cart dot html inside the car, uh, store a uh, folder that is uh, we need to create one uh, go to the templates and store and create one new file name it as cart.html all right now let's say cart okay just a simple text and i think uh, this uh, this uh, url should go to the cart page properly let's say cart Oh, sorry something is wrong oh we did not start the server python manage.py uh, run server all right uh, reload and our page is working now so instead of this uh, uh, text we will be putting the uh, bootstrap template okay so now let's go to the uh, you know sublime text where you have the bootstrap template here uh, another call file called a uh, cart dot html right so we want to put the code uh, from uh, here to the this cart page okay where is it here it is uh, before that we need to extend the base template right extends base dot html and uh, let's uh, say block content and and block all right so this should load the header and footer all right so now go back to the sublime text here uh, in the cart.html file we need to bring some code from here 
uh, header we don't want and the section this section from this section to let's see where this will end uh, here it is okay so let's copy this and just go up oh here it is okay just uh, copy and paste it here paste it inside the end block okay so i mean the inside the uh, block content and end block so once you save it um, uh, refresh let's see how it looks okay so this is how our cart page will be looking so we will fix this static images and all this stuff okay so let's go back to the code editor and the first of all we will fix this image so i think this this figure class item site i think this is the first image right so this this image so let's uh, cut this and static since this is a static image we are going to load it from the static and put it here so this should look like this and uh, if you refresh oh sorry oh sorry we you can see it, this this is what happens when we uh, don't load the static okay so uh, here load static and you can fix the issue now so see the static image is coming up and we can actually delete these two uh, you know these two uh, products this is a static product okay so after that we will fix this one this image also let's go to this and uh, this is the image items slash nine slash uh, i mean nine nine dot jpg so let's oh sorry not this i'm talking about um okay this one images slash miss slash payments dot png so i want to fix this one static space uh, this path so now this is loading so i will delete these two okay we don't want these two uh, products here because we are going to loop through all the uh, all the cart items later so let's uh, first go to um uh, this this is the first tr okay this is the first table row and uh, we want first one and we don't want the second one right so when you uh, select this tr and just scroll down the tr is ending here just copy from uh, here delete this and the next tr also we don't want and save it and that's it so i think uh, that's enough for now so in the next lecture we will actually create a cart model okay thank you